So this is the Seasons in 3D Gizmo on the ExploreLearning.com site um, that we're going to use today. And I wanted to just take a minute and do a little bit of vocab as we get started. So um, looking down at the earth here, I just want to make sure everyone sees the... Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> Try that again. Okay, that's supposed to be a straight line. That is the equator. Um, that splits the northern hemisphere from the southern hemisphere. So obviously the northern hemisphere is the one on top uh, from this perspective and southern is um, to the south or in the, uh, to the bottom. And northern hemisphere of course is where we live. It's where most of the land mass on the planet is. Southern hemisphere of course um, Australia and Antarctica um, and some other little bits but a lot more ocean down there whereas a lot more land mass up in the north. And um, these little white lines um, which connect in the other direction across the globe, um, we refer to this as the axis of rotation. So all of these lines are imaginary, right? There's nothing actually there. It's just to help us visualize what's going on. So the other thing on this simulation to see is that um, we can change some settings. So the Earth axis angle is set at 23 and a half degrees because that's the way it is in space. And you can see when we change this that our globe um, tilts differently and for this we're just going to leave it at 23 and a half because that's um, that's what actually is out there in space and there's a red dot here that they've placed at 23 and a half degrees um, we can change this as well and you can see it moves on the globe so if I was to drag this all the way down to, whoop, to zero that would be at the equator. Um, zero degrees is the equator and if we wanted to go all the way up to the North Pole we would head up towards 90 degrees and you can see it, it just brings us to 89 but that's up at the North Pole whereas negative 89 would be all the way down there at the South Pole. So that's how the degrees work. Boston is at about 42 degrees so you, you can type that in and um, you know 42 is almost half of 90 degrees so you can see we're essentially halfway between the equator and the North Pole. And then the two other uh, bits of vocab are rotation and revolution. Um, so if we hit go here you can see our globe starts to spin on the axis and that is rotation. Um, and it is actually revolving right now, but super slowly. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this sim speed and hit go again. And now, you, whoa, why did we stop? Oh, because we hit December. Okay, let's, let's stop that. Let's go back to the beginning of the year and hit go again. And you can see now that our Earth is traveling around the sun. Um, and eventually it will make it all the way around and that is a revolution. So it is rotating on its axis very quickly and revolving around the sun uh, less quickly. So one rotation is a day-night cycle and one revolution is a year. And you can see on um, the sim, if I stop this, we can, you can also use the slider here to drag to specific dates more easily than, than waiting for it to go. And then you'll also be using this 2D tab um, uh, where you are going to be able to watch the sun um, and the moon in the sky. And you can see it's going very quickly here. But that's because I have the sim speed up. Um, but again, you can choose um, you can choose specific dates and you can see the date up here to see exactly where you are.